All right. A Canadian medical board threatened Jordan Peterson's clinical license. So as far as I know, Jordan Peterson, a famous right-wing pundit who got famous by uh, uh, essentially uh, s starting a fake trans panic in Canada over a bill that was, was, was really harmful to nobody and oppressing nobody and in fact gave trans people some legal rights. Um, uh, it has been going like a little more insane than usual. So we're so um, and uh, a medical board is threatening his clinical license. So let's uh, let's let's check it out. So let's check it out. All right. Okay. Meanwhile, speaking of censorship. Jordan Peterson is now under fire mm -hmm. by apparently members of the College of Psychologists of Ontario. Yes, what exactly yes. did Jordan do? He, well, he did not. First of all, he, he denies the existence of trans people, which is something that is like widely medically accepted. So maybe that, you know, uh, he, uh, he, he, he constantly preaches beliefs that are insane and ridiculous and actively harmful you know just a thought obviously jordan peterson full disclosure is a host at daily wire plus yes he is jordan sure. blasted canada's commissars and penned a scathing letter to prime minister justin trudeau tuesday after a leading association of his fellow psychologists threatened to go after his license to practice clinical psychology over social media criticisms of the nation's far-left government the College of Psychologists of Ontario ordered the best-selling author and Daily Wire Plus host to undergo social media communications retraining. Ah, the re-education plan. Or face a hearing on the potential suspension of his medical license. Writing to Justin Trudeau, Peterson vowed not to participate. Didn't he, like, like cry about a slightly bigger woman being on the cover of a sports magazine? The man needs to, like... I don't know. Go to therapy himself. I, something, you know, just something. He said, quote, I, can, I simply cannot resign myself to the fact that in my lifetime, I'm required to resort to a public letter to the leader of my country to point out that political criticism has now become such a crime in Canada that if professionals dare engage in such activity, government appointed commissars will threaten their livelihood and present them with the spectacle of denouncement and political disgrace. There is simply and utterly no excuse whatsoever for such a state of affairs in a free country. This, of course, is just the latest of several investigations launched by the College of Psychology with prior complaints having been dismissed. What exactly did Jordan do that was so terrible? Yeah. And now he is being investigated yeah, tell me. by this ridiculous organization, the College of Psychologists of Ontario. What exactly did he do? Yeah, yeah. Well, he retweeted Conservative Party leader Pierre Polivre. I'm going to screw up his name, but so be it. Blasted Trudeau's former senior aide, Gerald Butts. And he blasted New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern tweeting opposition to a plan by Ottawa police to take custody of the children of trucker convoy protesters. He also told Joe Rogan's podcast audience that accepting radical gender theory is a sign of civilization collapsing. And okay, so the acceptance of modern gender theory is not civilization collapsing. The acceptance of modern gender theory is, you know, science and human thought progressing and advancing as it should. I don't know about this whole Canadian thing. I don't. I, I, I don't follow a ton of Canadian politics, but this. But uh, I don't know. Like, I, like, like, every time I listen to like Shapiro speak, I, I always take all of his words with, with a grain of salt. You know. And also said that climate change models are unreliable. Climate change. Okay, climate change's models are very reliable. We've we've got some very smart people working on all of these. Like, like, like on 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 all the signs beyond climate change we've had smart people working on it since like the 1960s what do you mean they're unreliable did you just see snow for like a day and assume that it was unreliable also wait hold on he's a psychologist he's a psychologist and he like what i i don't like using a person's degrees to necessarily justify whether they know something or not know something because Jordan Peterson is the perfect example of a guy who is supposed to like know psychology and understand like science you know the science of the brain but clearly doesn't but like 
Come on, man. So apparently, this is enough for the college executive director to review the tweet and a transcript from Peterson's appearance on Joe Rogan and determine that this warranted an investigation. The probe has now been expanded to include subsequent social media posts by Peterson, including a made Twitter post in which he said that Sports Illustrated putting plus-size swimsuit model Yumi Nu on the cover was not, in, was not an example of beauty. All Jordan wrote at that point, you remember this big controversy, he wrote, sorry. Listen, he went insanely unhinged in the past few years. I don't think, like, I don't think he's, he's, he's fit to like, to like be a psychologist. Right, like he he like he's clearly not. He's clearly going through something, and he probably shouldn't be practicing because he's going to be preaching to people some really messed up stuff. Like this is just a fact. Sorry, not beautiful, and no amount of authorian authoritarian tolerance is going to change that. He also tweeted that the movie star Ellen Page, who now goes by Elliot Page, his name is Elliot. You got to use the right name, all right? It's So of course it's uh, so so of course it's affirming their gender, but these people obviously don't believe that. But more than that, it's a sign of respect. We don't call Muhammad Ali Cassius anymore, even though his birth name was Cassius Clay. Right? We call Madonna Madonna. I do not believe Madonna I do not believe that Madonna, uh, no, never mind. Madonna's, uh, uh, real name was a Madonna. That was wrong. Um, I'm struggling to think of examples, but there are definitely, ex like, Eminem? I don't, I, we don't call, I mean, we don't usually call Eminem Marshall Mathers. That is his name, but we do use, like, Eminem. All right, maybe... All right, all right, to be fair, that's... I think the... I think the... Um, Muhammad Ali one is probably the best... A, 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 a example. Apologies. We don't call... Muhammad Ali Cassius anymore because his name is not Cassius. He changed his name. Elliot Page changed his name. For what? Somebody just, uh, somebody just messaged. For what purpose does a Twitch stream arise? Me, I nominate myself for house speaker. People are tired of good luck and change. People want a leader who is not hated, and that is me. Fair enough. Quite the random comment there, buddy, but hey, I appreciate it. <laughs> is actually a woman but but anyway sorry what i was trying to say is that just just like just like use the normal pronouns people it's not that the, the, use the pronouns use the name because like that's his name woman they got the, this particular college, by the way, it sounds like a private organization. In Canada, that's not the way that it works. The college is a government-regulated association that regulates and has the authority to sanction psychologists ostensibly to protect the health and safety of workers and the public. Peterson charged that the Ontario Professional Organization has been hounding him since 2017. He said, I was never investigated for anything for the 20 years I practiced prior to my emergence on the public scene. But because the college is obligated to probe any written complaint filed against a member, Peterson says that he's been buffeted with investigations, many of which were prompted by anonymous calls. One accused him of being transphobic, sexist, and racist for pointing out an article from Crisis Magazine accusing the transgender movement of targeting autistic children. I mean, I don't know the full context of it, but it's definitely some kind of phobic to accuse the trans rights movement of targeting autistic folk. That's super, that's super like messed up, man. Last year, Peterson was taken to task by the college after telling a scientist who said overpopulation was a threat to the planet that he was free to leave at any point. The college opened an investigation and Jordan declined to cooperate. He said at the time, take whatever steps you deem necessary. I'm simply not gonna spend the hours and days required to undergo the unbelievably stressful process necessary to respond to this formally because one of the millions of people who follow me on social media took offense to one thing I said. 
at one point. Now, again, one, one of the reasons that they are targeting Jordan is to shut everybody else up. Jordan has a big enough plan. No, they're targeting Jordan because he has clearly demonstrated that he's not fit to practice psychology. That's it. He's, he's, he's gone unhinged in the past few years and should not practice psychology. It's not to shut people up. You are a 5.2 million subscriber channel. You have an extremely loud voice for an opinion followed by a relative minority of people. Not like a, like, like a large minority, nonetheless, but like a minority of people. So, chill. Platform that is very unlikely that he's going to end up being banned from the practice of psychology in Canada by the College of Psychologists of Ontario. But the whole point is to shut everybody else up. The people have less of a platform than Jordan. And this is the point on Twitter as well. It's to intimidate people into silence. You ban a few accounts, and then you get everybody else to shut up. This is the goal of the censorship regime. Free speech is the predicate to having an open conversation on any of these important issues. And given the amount that the experts have used their authoritarian power to silence actual useful conversation, it is... This is not useful conversation. You're just going against scientific consensus that's been... Well, sorry. For the trans thing specifically, he's just going against scientific consensus. This is not useful conversation. Truly scary that you now have commissars in supposedly Western countries like Canada. This is happening in the UK as well. Cracking down on free speech. You remember that case just a couple of weeks ago from before the new year in which a woman in the UK was arrested for silently praying outside of an abortion clinic, literally just standing there. Uh, we're going to look this one up. I don't trust any of these, any of these. Hmm. A lot of these are pretty right-wing news sites. Let's see this. Protesting, engaging in act of intimidating service to users, footage of the arrest. Sitting and play, praying silently. There, I, fe I feel like they're like leaving something out here because just standing there and praying silently is not a crime. It's really dumb. That it happened. Got news for you. Please disable your ad blocker. Fine. Where is my ad? Um. We can. Ooh, we can remove it. From. Um. Birmingham's authorities, which makes it illegal for an individual to engage in any act or attempt. Act okay, so Fox News is saying right here. Hey, how you doing, uh, the Zaran elite? How you doing? We're responding to uh, Ben Shapiro, and I'm investigating one of his, his claims. Um, so Birmingham authorities established a buffer zone around abortion clinics, which makes it illegal for an individual to engage in any act or attempted act of approval or disapproval as it relates to the abortion and includes verbal or written means like prayer or counseling. Okay. So obviously, um, so obviously the law says don't go around these abortion clinics because it's gonna like, it's got like, it, it's, it, it's, it, it's, it's. Because, because these people will threaten all sorts of things to, to women who, who want to get abortions. So, she wasn't just arrested for praying. She was arrested for breaking a, a, a pretty good law, you know? A, a law that prevents people from, from like, harassing women who, 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 who need to get treatment. I, you're, 
this is the issue, right? Like, he's not giving enough context to any of this. And they asked if she was praying, and she said, maybe in my head, and they arrested her for that. You make it sound like we live in a, like a thought police kind of world. This ain't it. The Western civilization cannot abide the authoritarians who now have decided that because they are the elite, they get to control not only how you act and what you do, but also what you see, what you watch, how you think. This is true. What we see and what we watch? Don't the conservatives start a panic about some goddamn thing every, like, every, like, three minutes? Like what? Like, critical race theory, the whole grooming thing. All of these were, like, not serious uh, concerns. Um, I'm only, like, remembering stuff from, like, just now. But, like, didn't... Hold on. Didn't... Didn't, like, Prager you? Obviously, this is the Daily Wire. I think they're, they're related, but they're not necessarily the same thing. Didn't Prager you, like... Like, um... <clears throat> Sorry. Didn't Prager you literally um like make a kids channel? Like a like a channel to like like where like kids could learn this stuff in reaction to like liberal whatever? Like the like the the, the, the like liberal media? I mean I don't know. This feels vaguely hypocritical. Truly scary stuff. Whether know. it is being monitored through private companies like Twitter or whether it's being done directly by governments like the government in Canada. And good for Jordan for standing up to it. I'm glad Jordan does this sort of stuff because frankly, if Jordan didn't do it, who else would be left to stand up against this sort of stuff? Alrighty, guys, the rest of the show is continuing right now. You're not gonna- All right. So, this is insane. Truly and actually insane. I mean, I don't know, man. Like, Peterson shouldn't, like, like, Peterson shouldn't be practicing medicine. Uh, not medicine, psychology. He's, he's clearly unhinged, and he probably needs, he probably needs to chill out for a little while. All right, just my two cents. That's all. Um, also, uh, it says that uh, the Zeran elite followed me. Uh, thank you for following. I do appreciate that. Um, yeah. Let's do another one.